Welcome to Awakening You channel. If you appreciate what we do, please support us. Thank you. Dear ones. I am Archangel Michael. Following on from everything I said at the beginning of the week, I'm going to talk a little more about positioning. What would be positioning? This word is used when you want to put something in the correct position. This definition is very simple. So there is an intention, there is an action. The intention that something physical be placed in the right position to fulfill a certain role. So this is the translation of the word, in the easiest way to understand it. But that's not the position I'm talking about. I want to talk about the positioning of beliefs, of life, of concepts, feelings, many positions. I've been saying here for some time now that the wall has fallen. There is no longer the possibility of standing on the wall, with one foot on the side of evolution and one foot on the side of doubt, there is no more time for this wall. This wall has fallen. So now is the time to position yourself, to define which side of history you want to be on. Yes, because this story of this planet will be told for a long, long time throughout the universe. Each orb in this universe has its importance. In the same way I tell you, no one is better than anyone else, not one orb is better than another, none is expendable. Each orb contains its own story, contains the inhabitants who live there. So why would he be expendable? Even if it is an orb with totally evil characteristics, as you usually say, it has its importance. Because there are those souls, who decided to apply the tests, they decided to live on the dark side, to be the ones who test you every moment, who provoke your feelings. So nothing is dispensable. But back to positioning. Positioning is very necessary at this moment. The biggest doubt, I can say for the majority of people who are here listening to me now, and which keeps echoing in their minds daily, am I ready? Can I go to the fifth dimension? Do I deserve to go to the fifth dimension? What will happen to those I leave here? Will I be able to bear being separated from those I love? So these questions have been echoing in your minds for some time. I do not minimize or ridicule any question nor do any of you. Some souls have been here for a short time, but it doesn't matter how long the soul has been here, the important thing is that you all fell into this third dimension frequency, and are living or have already lived, many experiences, and we cannot say that these experiences were 100% negative, but the vast majority were, because this dimension was created based on suffering, manipulation, lack of self-love, lack of love for others, violence, pain. So the positive experiences you had throughout your lives were fewer in number than the negative experiences. Of course, there may be exceptions, but these exceptions must also be understood as choices that made it possible for this to happen. It's isolation, the way of living away from the modern world, as you call it. So these people really have few negative experiences, because they are very close to the earth, they don't let themselves be carried away by the confusion of the world. But there are very few of them. So I have to worry about the vast majority here. The vast majority live in the modern world, where they are being tested every minute. All low vibration or negative feelings are presented throughout your lives at all times. There is no phase for one. We can say that the most common feelings appear all the time. Like anger, revolt, suffering, envy, slander, violence. These are banal feelings and actions that happen every minute. So how to position yourself? How do you know that you have both feet on this side of the light? Think about this, I've already said this here, but it's always good to repeat so that it becomes more and more engraved in your minds, it's like a great road. Let's think of it as a border of a country where there is a road that separates, on one side country A and on the other side country B. So let's bring this figure, on one side, your world here, with all these feelings, experiences, living the way you have always lived, without changing anything. Living intensely every feeling and every action, 
without worrying about the result. And on this side, on the other side of the border, there is a world of light. Where you have to be very careful, with thoughts, feelings, words. Because you are aware that all of this brings results. So how do I know if I'm on one side or the other? I explain to you here that everything has levels. It's like a big video game, where it's designed with multiple levels. But for you to reach the end of each level, you have to go through many obstacles. And in that game, when you fall into one of those obstacles, you go back to the zero point of that level. There's a big difference, because when you fall, you don't necessarily return to point zero. It depends on how you fall and why you fell. So from the moment you make a decision, because this is a decision making, I want to evolve. I want to ascend. Immediately you are placed on this side of the border, you start the game. Because you expressed your will, you believe that starting this journey is important for your evolution and you believe in it. So the simple fact that you want to evolve brings you here. Now getting to the last level, that's another problem. So when you ask yourself, how do I know I'm ready? What stage are you at? What level are you? There are many levels. So it's as if you had to answer a short questionnaire. And depending on the number of points you get, you can even define which level you are at. No, I'm not going to list countless questions here for you to ask yourselves and find out where you are. Everything has already been said here. All these low vibration feelings have to be fought. So there is no recipe, no list that you have to follow. Everything you have to achieve has already been said here over time. That's what I've been trying to teach each of you. So it would be very easy for me to come here now, and list everything you need to improve, to move forward and jump to the next level. Then it would be putting you on the balcony, lying in the hammock, drinking juice and receiving all the information they need. Where is the evolution there? This is also a positioning. So I already told you that the simple fact of wanting to evolve brings you here. Now there are some nuances. For example, just like in a video game, you have a limited number of lives to play and when you reach that number, the game ends and you have to start over. So it's more or less similar. You are brought this way, but if you start the journey maintaining feelings, maintaining the behavior you had on the other side, the game is over and you return to the other side again. It would be very easy for you to come here and continue resonating all the negative feelings that you still have and that you have no desire to lose. So for you the game ends and you go back to the other side. So realize, my brothers, that no one is truly safe, that they won't leave here. It depends, it even depends on the fact that you could be at the front, having already gone through several levels, but started making so many mistakes, it seems like you forgot everything you learned, and the game ends. And you go back to the beginning again, and on the other side having to go here again. So my brothers, nothing is guaranteed. In the same way that I always told you, that you will move to the fifth dimension, just don't forget that you go with the minds that you have there today. So whoever gets there and is unable to survive, emanating only feelings compatible with the fifth dimension, will be kindly invited to a deep conversation. Like, what do you want? Do you want to stay or do you want to leave? And then you will have to realize again, what you really want. So nothing is a guarantee of anything.